Hi, my name is Herbert Edwards. I'm with Myrtle Beach Airbrush, and I happen to be this year's Airbrush Society's Pro Battle Champion. Uh, Robert has reached out to me in regards to the challenge for the beginners, and so I wanted to give you something that was other than something other than a line challenge or draw a cartoon. So I've given him a photograph of something that you probably will think how unusual it is, but also to challenge yourself. Um, it's this very simple thing. It's a paper bag. I know, I know. Look at how complicated it is. But <clears throat> it is part of the challenge. Your challenge is to show the wrinkles, give texture. You'll find that there's wrinkles from the shadows, sh uh, shadows from the wrinkles. Um, it's a real challenge if you really want to improve your level of skill. Um, I would recommend this exercise for anyone, even pros. I would recommend that you take something as simple as a paper bag, crumple it up and then draw it. Um, it is something that makes you think about what you see and how you see things. Um, it also makes you draw what you see not what you think you see. Which is something a lot of beginners have a hard time with. And so I offer you this challenge to build your repertoire. It is not a face, it is not a portrait. Those are very, there we go. Um, if you really do this and you do it on another surface other than a t-shirt, and uh, I, I, I really wouldn't recommend a canvas, but you know, if that's what you have laying around, then yes. Uh, otherwise, I'd say go out, buy some Carson paper or some heavy rag paper from your local art store and, and really give a go at this. Um, use other techniques that you're not as familiar with. Get out of your comfort zone and push yourself. Um, use a frisket. Use a freehand shield. Um, use an eraser. Um, there are many techniques that you are not aware of and I recommend that you try to find as many as you can and really push yourself and this will make it a very good learning tool. So with that said, beginners, I have given you a true challenge. I wish you the best and I hope that you understand what you're about to dive into. I am pushing you outside of your comfort zone so that you can grow if you really want to grow. Thank you very much. Peace! Okay, quick side note. When you do the project, do it on something other than a t-shirt. If you can get an illustration board, great. If you can get a clay board, great. If you can get Carson paper, which is like a paper that's used primarily for charcoal um, or colored pencils. Uh, if you can do rag paper, you can do that. And that's just because different surfaces take paint differently. Also, when I mentioned erasers and erasing techniques, I mean kneaded erasers. And if you don't know what that is, look it up. <clears throat> also, aggressive erasers, which are erasers that basically take off uh, pigment or pencil lead uh, more aggressively than your regular ones, or even a pen eraser. If you can find those uh, pink pearl erasers, some of you might remember those from when you were a kid. Um, try that. Uh, use an exacto knife and do a scratch back uh, for those of you who have really good illustration board or clay board um, I'd lean more towards a clay board that works as well um, so I wish you the best of luck again um, that was just a quick side note in case there's any confusion yes you're drawing the bag but you're also drawing everything in the picture 
Um, but for those of you who don't have the picture or want to challenge yourself, then I recommend, it's, again, taking something as simple as a paper bag, a piece of paper that maybe has a texture or a pattern. Um, if you really want to go crazy, get some crazy Christmas uh, wrap and ball it up and have at it. Uh, try not to lose your mind in the insanity of all the foals. But on that note, it is a lot of fun. Uh, it is a good exercise. Again, the primary goal is to get you to paint what you see, not what you think you see. Okay? So it causes you to think about what it is you're painting as opposed to if I gave you a portrait um, you'd be identifying the eye and just drawing an eye from your brain and then repeat and rinse with the nose, repeat and rinse with the mouth and hair and so on and so forth. So this gives you something that your brain can't go, oh that's an eye, oh that's a nose. It has to say this is a texture, it's approximately this size, it's approximately this shape, and will force you to draw what you see. And it's just that simple. So it's a simple exercise, but it is also a complicated exercise. So I wish you the best. Good luck. Look forward to seeing the results. Later!